Hello friends, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to give uh, uh, alert. Uh, here email address is uh, already available. Try another email. So I want to display this uh, alert message uh, in the alert bootstrap predefined uh, class alert. So come to the code. And this is our uh, register page. Uh, in the last tutorial we have done this, but we have done all these. So just uh, copy this alert and control C to copy and give enter come here and paste it here and this is alert just take a another enter after this after the link there it has a class close with data dismiss alert and area level close this ampersand times represents cross sign to close it close this alert after C so remove this and cut it from here and paste it here in the same way copy this and give an enter here just cut it from here and paste it here move down copy this copy and paste cut So friends, I have uh, given alert uh, with the, bo the bootstrap class alert warning uh, for each and every input field. It looks uh, good. So I'm going to change some classes alert warning. It is uh, alert warning for the name. Okay, it is good. Warning for the last name. Okay, fine. And validation, fine. Warning. Password, not okay. It is also warning and uh, mobile yeah, it is also warning and when it i am going to change this because it, it is danger and uh, when someone email address is already available in our dis database so we can uh, uh, alert with a class danger alert danger class uh, you can see and, and this is also okay and th this this need to be changed I am going to change it to success because when user registered successfully so we need to give it in a success class ok now everything is fine come to the code and let's try to sign up ok it uh, gives uh, email address is already available try another email address yeah it's look cool and when I am giving a wrong name suppose at the rate name with at the rate when I sign up though it gives an alert this uh, Rizwan at the rate is not valid ok when I yeah, uh, when I change the email address suppose I am changing it to Salman Khan at the rate gmail dot com so sign up yeah you are registered successfully but with the name Rizwan Khan and we need to change it so forget it oh so now I'm going to uh, log in come to the index page index.php here we need here we need to yeah, do some coding for the login and come to the main.js page and first come to the index page and this is our index page what is the id of login button this is the id of login button just copy this and here copy and come to the main gesh page so uh, yeah i have already done this uh, when someone click on this login uh, it runs a function with an 
event argument uh, and this prevent default stop the uh, refresh of the page so just need to dollar dot zax url url should be action dot php url and uh, method uh, must be post data and when it success it runs a function that anonymous function with an argument data which comes from the php page so send a uh, data user lock in one and you alert something when it returns something save it and come to the customer mm, action page move down so here if Go post user login. So now user login dollar. We need to receive an email address and password. So what is the e ID is email and password is uh, is password. So and so I'm going to click on this login button where email equals to dollar hash email dot val where sorry where password whoa, what is wrong with pass equals to dollar hash password is a fair dot well now we have email address and password of user so we in we are ready to send this email address email user now everything is okay just save it and come to the action page to show some action dollar underscore post just uh, give the name user email and store it in dollar email equals to my QLI underscore real skip string this is for the this protects our uh, email address full from the hackers and 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 unwanted symbol like comma and uh, the semicolons like this connection close this it has two arguments one is uh, database connection and one other another one is the free user input value dollar password equals to dollar sorry dollar underscore post user password user password Converted to MD5. Not none now. After this, dollar SQL. Actually, we need to convert it here right now. MD5. Dollar SQL 
equals to select all from user underscore info where underscore info where user where email equals to dollar email and and password equals to dollar password select all from user underscore info let me check the database localhost php madmin <coughs> so we are in the database khan store so we just come to the user underscore info we have our data a user underscore id email and password so come here and dollar run also query equals to mysqli underscore query dollar connection comma dollar sql and dollar count it, should, it must be one not more than one so mysql i uh, mysql i underscore num underscore ros and dollar run underscore query run query okay if dollar count equals to equals to one then we are ready to execute pitch and dollar count equals one so while dollar draw equals to my sqli underscore h underscore array and copy this run query copy and paste it here with the dollar symbol dollar uh, raw bracket user underscore id dollar uh, user id actually smooth and in storing new id uh, i'm going to store it dollar underscore session Session UID user ID and dollar underscore session name equals to dollar raw user by first. Let me check first underscore name and uh, user underscore id. So it is okay. Name we have the new username, user first name, and in UID we have, we have the user ID, um, unique ID. So just uh, echo, not here echo. Actually, we not need to use fetch because here is. And it is only one. Just uh, move this. If dollar raw equals to minus i underscore page underscore array. Dollar uh, run score query. So we are uh, we face the data MySQL and as a fetch array uh, with function and we have the run query. So 
for, uh, we have uh, only one user um, ID and first name so I'm going to equal to true if it, uh, this function executes if dollar count equals equal to one then uh, we're ready to echo true and when this true comes in the in this page main dot dash and alert so to fetch and uh, refresh sign password is one two so login so it gives an uh, local which says alert to with a very large size so meet you in the next tutorial uh, for the thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe